Hello and welcome to Outside Xbox. You're watching Show of the Week. I'm Andy. And I'm Mike. So, what have you been up to this week, Andy? I'm still playing Yakuza 0. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a moving exploration of honour and loyalty and the path that can lead to people being trapped in a self-destructive cycle of unwise excess. a grabby grabby machine. How is that self-destructive? I'm a hundred million yen in the hole, mate. I need that plus squirrel. Okay. Haven't you been playing anything else this week? You know, something maybe less than two years old? Well, I did get a chance to play some Rage 2 this week when my PS4 DualShock controller ran out of battery and I had to plug it in. Oh, cool. How was that? It was awful. I had to search all over for one of those little cables and then no, I mean, into... how was Rage 2? Oh yeah, it's good. Oh my god, it's Rage, Andy. It's yeah. Rage. It's rage, rage 2 specifically. 2, so you can see exactly how it is, Mike. It is you'll exactly notice, Mad Max. You'll notice there's tell. a car. There is a car. I'm so on what board do you think already. Of that? Are you into the Oh no. Yeah, well, I was until you crashed mm. it. I didn't crash it, it's fine. Maybe. This is all part of my Schlem machine gun this bison. I mean, no. It might be the last living bison. But what if... What it if survived it's a nuclear apocalypse, Andy, it's not you monster. There was a meteor. All right. Might get your law right. Survived a meteor apocalypse. Yeah. Well, Don't kill it. Oh, my God. So, as you can see, this is the open world. There's quite a lot of <laughs> chaos. Yes. This all happens uh, as you tool around the place. I do have actual missions to do. Yeah. But this is the least pink I've seen this game. Yeah, again, it does get... I can't see a single bit pink. of pink at the moment. So, okay. you've played the first... An hour yeah. and a half or I've so. Got, this yeah, time. I've got through the initial bits of the game. So I'm playing as a uh, as a ranger, right? And um, I've got this uh, this sort of super suit armor thing, oh, which okay. um, uh, it comes with some sort of base abilities, like shooting people. And yeah, stuff like that. but <laughs> that's also, a base ability just in generally, right? Yeah. As a human. But around the sort of the open world, there are these things called arcs. Right. Uh, and every time you go to a, an arc, you have to sort of kill a bunch of people. But then you get inside the arc, and it gives you a new ability. Oh, okay. So, so far, I've got um, the shatter ability, which is okay. like you sort of smash people with a sort of force thing. I've got this nifty double jump. Yep. Always useful. And yeah, finding can things on high shelves. Dash in Dash. various directions like Good. that. Um, but that's only the sort of the first three that you unlock. Right. I understand there's a whole bunch more. Okay, and you can do. kind of combo them together and... and yeah, and you can upgrade them as well and stuff like that. But um, there are also story missions for you right. to do. As you can see, these little markers on my map up here. Yes. So I'm heading across to one of the first ones of those so we can do a bit of shooting. And you Sounds can good. Check it out. Boost. <laughs> That's got some good handling. So, do you, do you enjoy the cars? I know cars aren't normally your thing. It reminds me of Mass Effect Andromeda. That, oh, really Andromeda. Nice yeah. I was about to say, if it was the Mako, then something's gone horribly wrong. Okay. Okay, we're so in we're Gun Barrel. Gun Barrel. Um, there are these three uh, people that we have to find. One of them is, uh, I think you played the mission, uh, Wasteland Celebrity? Yes. So that's one of the three okay. missions I currently have. But we're going to do a different one. You look tough enough. We're going to talk to it's just Tony. It's got like kind of a borderlands vibe, as you can see. Yeah. Um, but also, like you say, Mad Max and a bit of sort of the Mass Effect style open world. Okay. Plus um, that that sweet sweet id shooting, right? Everyone oh goes, man, the shooting is going crazy. Ball. So yeah, let's start a mission so we can actually shoot someone. How do you? How are you getting on with the wackiness? The wackiness of this game. Um, is it like good wacky, or is it sort of turning up to your office job in a Homer Simpson tie wacky? It's there's a bit of both. There's <laughs> kind of like there's some fun uh, sort of irreverence and like the. Like the opening cutscene is ridiculous. There's like a guy power slides a motorbike into a giant monster. Cool. Which, you know, obviously. I'm on board with. Is cool. So, for example, for the sort of wacky stuff mm. in this game, we have the menu. The um, menus are wacky. It's got cheats that you can turn on. Oh! Which include voice packs, one of which is, I think, Danny, Danny Dyer. Dyer. Yeah, yeah. So, if you. I listen, mean, I'm going to be playing the entire game with that one. So, if you obviously. listen. Power Cheat supply. code activated. Cheat code activated. <laughs> and then he'll just like comment occasionally on the stuff you're doing. That's pretty good. He'll be fun. like, oh, that was proper naughty. <laughs> and things of that nature. Um, there's another one which is, I think, based on the NBA Jam announcer. Oh, uh, like, okay. He's on fire. Yeah, yeah. That's that cool. kind of thing. I mean, that's a, a nice touch, I think. Let's get up to a bit of mischief. Let's get up to a bit of mischief. 
like oh national treasure Danny Dyer there. Sort of like Danny well, Dyer is a voice in your head. Like, <laughs> yes. Just making sure, Marshall. Commenting on just things as you go sure. around. It's cool though when you like activate overdrive and stuff. He's like into it. I bet. Like, yeah. Overdrive. Use it, you mug. <laughs> I'm not going to use overdrive when there aren't any enemies around, Danny Dyer. Get out of my head. Okay, you're in an actual mission now. Okay. Something's happening. Fine, we're going to do some shooting. Okay, with Danny Dyer. With Danny Dyer. Danny Dyer, for those of you who don't know, is a British actor. Yes. Um, who portrays characters from the East End of London, otherwise known as Cockneys. Yes. Not just in film and television, but in real life, he seems to portray that character as well. Yeah. Also a direct descendant of what, Richard III. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. He's actually descended from royalty. It's yeah. amazing. Oh, but yeah, it looks really nice, as you can see. Um, yes. I kind of like, I like the open hey, world stuff, being able to go around and, hey, look, it's an arc. What I was talking about. I'm not using overdrive <laughs> yet, Danny. Get off my case. So, okay, so you're going to jam your hand in it or something, right? Yeah. So you unlock it with focus. Focus okay. is also an ability you can use to, like, see enemies through walls and stuff. Oh, all right, okay. Um, not I, I think we can Danny. switch Danny Dyer off now, probably, That's can't we? <laughs> After the fourth time he's told us to use overdrive your mug, um, we can probably turn that off. Yes, so, please. So this arc, designed to you know, retain the knowledge and achievements of humanity after the apocalypse, has a combat shotgun in it. Yeah, it does, and it's going to give me a little tutorial on how to use it. Do you really need a tutorial on how to use a combat shotgun? Point this end at people. This isn't your first first-person shooter rodeo. Press, oh, right trigger to fire, is it? Cool. <laughs> but yeah, the shooting is great, obviously, mm. because it's it it. Yeah. softly. And you feel like the real punchy... Do you think it's like oh, it? Because it doesn't have any multiplayer, does it? Which seems weird for a new shooter. But I don't think the original Rage necessarily had any multiplayer. It might have let you do multiplayer races, which is probably not what people want to do. I don't think so, no. Um, good. Good. Yeah. It is very satisfying. Yeah, like old school oh, yeah. shooter vibe, is not it? Yeah, plus if I get some wing sticks, those are fun. Oh yeah, the, the, the combat boomerang. Yeah, thing. you basically boomerang people's heads off, which is great. What's all this gunk? I don't know. But What's this got to do with the meteor? Why has the meteor turned everyone into mutants if it's not a nuclear meteor? It's because um, aliens or something, probably. Right, right, sure. There's, and there's like a whole story about like a militarised technological faction who they're trying to... Uh, it sounds a bit too much like wow. it gets in the way of the shooting. Game right off. What's your objective? To Not shoot mutants. Reach the sewer turbine. It says up there. Right. Okay. But I mean, I have to... Whoa! Wow, okay, exploding barrels. I have to shoot mutants to get to the sewer turbine. That's so. true. Is there much variety in the enemies? Is it, or are they just kind of all... A lot of, a lot of mutants, dudes. a lot of like um, Raider-style Mad Max people. Mm. Uh, oh, have you tried that thing where you have to like shoot a kind of convoy thing? There's like a convoy going across the wasteland. Oh no, that's probably one of the sort of uh, open world missions that you come across. Yeah, um, yeah, I think it oh, is. Oh, oh, oh nice. wow, that was ace. Oh boy, this. Oh boy, okay. wow, he set his backpack off and came right at me. <laughs> oh, dude, my you're dude. being absolutely savage at the moment. Um, yeah, because they, they're quite cool and they play out basically like the end of Mad Max Two. Ah, Which sweet. Now, the, the open world stuff is fun. Oh, I see, see my multiplier is draining. I need to find more people. Ah, uh, okay. Now overdrive. You used Whoa. it, you mug. Oh, yeah. Like Danny Dyer wanted. <laughs> if only he were here. But yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of like old school, whoa, 90s shooters. Yeah. Um, but with a, like the modern but software a, crunchy be, shooting. Yeah. Which like, I'm describing everything as crunchy at the moment. It, it, it does is, seem it quite crunchy. crunchy. It, it, this seems to, you know, Bethesda seems to be like the last custodians of that really like old school shooter. Like everything else plays quite a lot like Call of Duty. Yeah. But these have their own very sort of id. This and Doom and Wolfenstein all have that kind of like very old school shooting. Yeah, there's a lot less sort of aiming down sights. Mm. Yeah, it's just like shoot from the hip and or dual wheel things and I say aiming down sights. So you know, gotta get those headshots. Exactly. Keep that modifier up. Keep it ticking. So what do you think of it? Because you've played this as well, haven't you? Yeah, I played... Uh, that Wasteland Celebrity mission was really, really good fun. Um, and I liked the sort of over-the-top characters. It gave me a real, like, 80s post-apocalyptic sci-fi movie kind of vibe. You know those kind of rubbish movies that you used to watch, like The Running Man and I mean, stuff good, like that? Good movies. Yeah, but, like, good rubbish. 
Um, but yeah, so it really gives you that kind of vibe. Plus, aesthetically, it looks a lot like Mad Max Fury Road, which is one of my favourite films of all time. Um, so I'm happy that it exists. And I think oh. in the absence of a, a Mad Max sequel, this is sort of the next best thing. Plus, I like the first person perspective, right? So like, the Mad Max game was great, but I'm less into kind of third person stuff and more into first person stuff. So, um, so yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Overdrive. Overdrive is awesome. It'd be interesting to see, like, if this gets boring over the course of an entire game, or if yeah. like, it actually sort of adds enough new powers. And because I've seen like a bunch of the stuff that you unlock later in the game, like the ability to sort of jump and smash down on people. Yeah. And, uh, I think there's. I think the slight problem it might run into is the same thing I had with Bulletstorm, where it was like you start by kind of experimenting. Uh, with all the different powers and combos and things, but then very quickly you find the sort of path of least resistance, and then you end up doing the same combo each time in every combat situation, and yeah. then it starts to kind of get a bit boring. But like in Bulletstorm with the tether slam, yeah, and, and up in the shooting yeah. out of the sky and all that kind of stuff. So, oh, oh, that that this guy looks oh Abaddon Warhead. Wow, Jeez. All right. you're telling me a meteor made that. Uh, yes, yeah, a meteor fell on him. Maybe a meteor went. landed on top of a nuke. He went, oh, for God's sake, I guess I'll become <laughs> I'll become a guy. 18 foot high. Yeah. Mutant with a chain gun. I'm chipping away. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Go. Got him. Wow, that was actually remarkably easy. I really feel, I feel like not concentrating on the cutscenes, you aren't going to miss that much. This is yeah. not going to be the great American novel, <laughs> I don't think. Imagine if it was, though. Wow. So that makes you think. It's like Great Gatsby. <laughs> Right. Great Gatling gun. Great Gatling. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Put that on the box. I'm going to reboot this sewer turbine. Uh, always with the power. Always restarting the power. Hey. Hey, we got power. Can't believe you made it. What do you mean you can't believe I made it? What did you say we can do it? You can't believe I made it. Anyway, there we go. It's a quick look. It's, yeah. uh, it's Rage 2, which is out this week. Uh, will you be giving a go? Yes, I will be raging all weekend. <laughs> As usual. Yes. <laughs> so he's a little squirrel, mm. right? But he's plush and he's got a little hat and he comes in different colours. Wait, I thought we were talking about Rage 2 this week. I am talking about Rage 2. Really? Because it sounds like you're talking about Yakuza again. Hey, you know what is distracting and changes the subject? What? YouTube comments! Well, Jay, what I've been playing this week mm -hmm. is Yakuza 0, ah. which is a PS4 exclusive game from 2017. Right, that's Probably correct. Probably not what you're expecting to see. Except, Jane, mm. we're not going to change the subject. What? Because we're talking about last week's show of the week, which was about oh, Yakuza 0. Oh, okay. my goodness. What Fine. a coincidence Bring it back that we're around. talking about Yakuza 0 again. You can't be stopped. It's good. He loves it so much. I've played like 24 hours All of right, it now. give us the comment then. It's eight, okay, well. What's the comment right, on fine, last week's show? Fine. Uh -huh. uh, Wendy Willison says, writes to say, thank you, Wendy, for writing. Yakuza 0 is amazing, and if you've never experienced the marvel that is Mark Hamill voicing Majima in mm. Yakuza 1, you're missing out. I didn't know what? this. What? Mark Hamill I'm voices... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Majima instead yeah. of Majima, because okay. people will say I'm pronouncing it wrong. Great. But, um, yeah, the wow. character I'm with the eye patch. I'm here for Mark Hamill yeah. playing a character, any character, but especially one with an eye patch. Do you want to hear a bit of Mark Hamill yes, voicing Majima in the first Yakuza yep. game? Hit right. me with that. You're too kind, Kazuma-chan, too kind. We gotta make up for this. Ow! I should kill you, stupid! Yeah, Mark Hamill at his voice acting fight. He's so good at voice acting. It's almost... It's true, who could have guessed? Yeah, seems a, a shame 1977, looking at Luke Skywalker thinking... That guy. There's a, an eminent voice actor in the making. He'll be the Joker one day. <laughs> yeah. Who could have guessed? I know. Who would but have known? He's great. I'm so yeah. glad that he's like seems to be enjoying himself these days. You follow him on Twitter. He and does. He's just like he's having, just a, having good a time. He's having a great time. Did you mm. see that thing where he just turned up on Star Tours at Disneyland? No. Yeah, and he was just like, "Hey, everybody, it's me, Mark Hamill. Having a good time? Well, see you later." Oh my god. I'm like, cannot, cannot take it. What a great guy. Oh my god. Anyway, enough about Mark Hamill, who is great. No, it's never enough about Mark <laughs> Hamill. You know, he was like my first crush. Really? Yeah, I mean Luke Skywalker. Obviously. Luke Skywalker, not yeah. Mark Hamill. A New Hope era. Our time has passed. Yeah. You are dead, dead, dead. You are dead, dead, dead. All 
right, so that was the You Are Dead song, okay. which I asked people to put on other video game deaths and send to me, and a bunch of people did, and they were great. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah. people were really taking up the challenge. Yeah, let's have on one Twitter of, let's, and stuff. Let's have one of those. Thank you for good that. One. That's good. Yeah. Um, Elvis Press Play, which is uh, a good, a good name, has Elvis. written to say, We did a full playthrough of all seasons of The Walking Dead game in my flat recently and played wow. the You Are Dead song anytime we happen to die. So that's anytime they died. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. I feel like it also, would. Also, how, how many seasons are there now? Oh, God, so many. I feel like it would be a good um, thing to have on like a phone app I was... with a button. Oh, shut up. I was just thinking that. Really? Yeah, oh but I was wondering like whether we could somehow license <laughs> that song. And then we've never app. had an app. What if there was an outside Xbox app and it said all your classic lines like... Yeah. Um, you're a page. And... Uh, this is fine. Yep, there yep. you go. <laughs> and these iconic lines, but also there was a button that just played You Are Dead. Yeah. All and... the iconic sound cues and music from the show and we license you are dead. And then when you're watching like a movie or yeah, something. Yeah, preferably when in a, a public theatre. Yeah, when there's a tragic, there's oh a my tragic god, can you death. imagine? <laughs> you just like hit no, the button. No spoilers, yeah. but like uh, a notable recent film featured uh -huh. day death. Okay. And can you imagine like the silence yep. in the theatre as everyone sort of comes to terms with it and then you are dead, yeah. dead, just rings And like an air it. horn, you always yeah. need an air horn sound. Yeah, put an air horn when in there. someone gets dunked on. Or just rather than an air horn, just you going air horn, air horn, air horn. Yeah, my, my classic line. Your classic yeah. line, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's make that happen. Let's if get that on the to-do list. If you own the rights to You Are Dead, do get yes. in touch. Uh, someone's got to own the rights. We can't just we can't just take it and put it in an app. Yeah, and this get we'll do this before we pivot to being a Japanese snack review channel, which is also is that something we suggest. That's on the to-do list yeah. as well. A Japanese snack review channel. How about that? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Eat these wasabi peas. Okay. Eat, eat, eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chew, chew, chew. Okay. Nom, nom, nom. On, the, on that topic yes. of Japanese, Japanese snack reviewing, yes. uh, Shane Brimson says, Japanese snack review channel sounds like a good idea. Eh. Put a spin on things and just munch some Japanese snacks while playing games and review them at the same time. Mm, these Japanese peach gummies are amazing while 47 throws someone off a roof. Okay. Do you think that's something we Two can Two thoughts. Combine? One, right. desperately want Japanese peach gummies peach right gummies now. Sound amazing, yeah. Secondly, yeah, can we combine our love of video games and Japanese snack reviewing? How do you SEO for that though? Do you like do you prioritize the snacks or do you prioritize the games? Andy, what's SEO? Uh, is the character from Assassin's Creed 2? Tell the people at home. If you're gonna use a term like that, you don't Search engine optimization! Okay, and what is that? It's when you put the right words in the you title. Put the right words in so, so if people someone find your video. Were to be looking for Japanese snack reviews. They would type in a certain set of words. Yeah, and if someone was looking for video games, they I feel like we might fall between two stools, is what I'm saying. Uh, but I. Hard to optimize for both of those. I'm fully on board with eating subjects, is what Japanese saying. snacks, though. All because right. We got given a bunch. And he's always thinking about the SEO. We got given a bunch at EGX and no, uh, Res. I had yeah. these. Um, they were like little potato snacks that were butter and soy sauce flavored. Delicious. And they were so good. I was like, I'll have a couple and then I'll save the rest. I, I, I think the issue might be that we do Let's Plays with like VO and not visuals. It'd be a lot of crunching. Yeah, and the thing is like, it's not very nice just listening to people eat. That's what they're eating. No, e never. I challenge you to find <laughs> audio of someone eating something and you're like, yeah, yeah you're right. I enjoy listening. I mean, there's going to be someone on the internet who enjoys listening to that. Why don't Some I sort bring... of like weird food ASMR. But like, just the sound of someone masticating is not is not an appealing sound even while they're playing hitman i tell you what we're what? on the day this video goes out we're doing a right. hitman live stream oh yeah i'll bring some japanese snacks to that hitman live stream okay and we can eat them and taste them on the live stream and we'll see if it works as a concept so oh. go back and watch our hitman live stream that we just yeah. did this afternoon okay and you can watch us eat some japanese i love snacks. that plan yeah. all right so what we have to remember is when we're doing the live stream be like, we're eating Japanese snacks, but it's for scientific research purposes. Yeah. Tell us if it's good or bad that we're and doing this. And then tune back in for show of the week when we'll we'll also be referencing this weird thing we're doing. Yeah. Okay, good. great, right. plan. Plan, all right. So many plans. Everyone loves a good video game boss. <laughs> okay, everyone who isn't currently playing Sekiro. The bosses that really stick in the mind, however, are the ones who are so weird that we still can't explain just what the developers were thinking when they decided to have you fight them. That, Andy, as if you couldn't tell, was a clip 
from our feature on the weirdest bosses WTF that had some bosses. explaining to do. Yeah. Or WTF as the internet kids. Do they say that? That's good SEO. Is that? No, it's not. <laughs> Stop saying SEO. I like you like 14% less every oh, time no. you say the word oh SEO. Oh my God, I'm already on 28% yeah, less. Yeah, exactly. So maybe stop. So I'm down to 72% total because I was 100% before. Yes. Right. right, so here's a comment on that feature about bosses. Okay, yeah. Do you remember it? I do remember it, it was good. Yeah. The bosses were, yeah, weird. Very strange. What is it about bosses in particular that that really encourages that kind of weirdness? Well, I think it's because in like regular enemies, yeah. you're going to be killing so many of them that you have to do quite a generic design. Yeah. Whereas when you get to the big sort of end of level boss, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. really go, go crazy with it. Imagine design. if every like vanilla enemy was a god hand level yeah. weirdo boss. Like a robot yeah. on stilts, you know, like, <laughs> wrapping the entire Yeah, the size of, of uh, a small mountain. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right, so here's a comment okay. from Brian Corvello. Read it to me. Is there a boss in god hand that does not fit this list? Question mark, question mark. Get ready, cause I'm really gonna give it to you. Uh, you're the big nice hero, right? Uh, how about giving me a hand here? It's a patent question. It deserves an answer. I mean, there are... Isn't that sort of God Hand's whole yeah. deal, along with, like, groin kicking? And, yeah, a lot uh, of groin kicking. The, ha um, the hand, yeah. obviously. God Hand is an amazing game. If you've not played it, you should try and seek it out. It's a little um, bit obscure, isn't it? It is, and... Somewhat. Yeah, um, but the fighting in it is really good. It's super okay. hard, so I think it would appeal to, like, the Dark mm. Souls fans of the world. Really? And it's got some really cool uh, design, like there's um, this thing in it called the uh, roulette wheel that right. you, when you've got a power attack powered up, you hit the roulette wheel and mm. it, you can choose all these different like super attacks and right. some of them are like kick someone into the sky and okay. some of them are the aforementioned groin kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, interesting. But yeah, there are, some, there are some bosses that are just like humanoid people. Just regular people. There's a guy called Elvis, but he's, he's massive. Okay. And he's just sort of normal. But then, but then the, some of them yeah. are five tiny Power Rangers. Yeah, or the robot that you have to fight, or the guy who is a human drum kit. Represent! Anyway, God Hand. God Hand, get on it. Sandy's hot tip, along with Yakuza Zero. We've got all the new games, <laughs> all the current releases. Have you heard about this Game Boy game called Tetris? <laughs> it's like it's a really gonna be clever big. puzzle game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it to yourself, but it's going to be big. I'm the worst kind of a person. I'm like, guys, have you heard about Yakuza? Yeah. Everyone's like, yes, yeah, we heard so, about it too. Well, I want to talk about it now. Yeah. Well, I've, I feel like I've discovered it. <laughs> well, Give me credit. Yeah. Do you want another quote? I would. Okay. Alexander Lev says, Aha, so that's where slot machine and fully priced video game idea came from. Damn you, Star Fox. That's in reference to the um, sort of one armed bandit casino machine in uh, Star Fox, yes. where it's like a space born enemy. Yeah, it just flies at you like a sort of Imperial Star Destroyer. And you have to shoot its its arm yeah. to keep like scrolling the wheels until you eventually win. Yeah. Right? But I like the idea that that was the sort of the first loot box in a video game. It's like. <laughs> Kind of, if you squinted like, it a little bit. Like developers saw that and they were like, oh, what if that, but you had to pay real money? Yeah, what if that, instead of shooting the one-armed bandit, you had to feed money you into the one-armed bandit? You fired coins at the one-armed bandit, and yeah. then you got something out of the end. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that sort of tickled me, the idea. <laughs> Andy, I know what you've been waiting for, this whole comment section. What is it? And it's a comment from commenter Moustached Cyan Prince. Oh, like in Dragon Ball. Yeah. You want to hear it? Yeah. Good. Good, <laughs> do it. Excuse you, but two games ago in Dead Rising 2, I fought a crazy man called Slappy in a weird child mascot costume, who rode around on rollerblades, dual wielding flamethrowers he made from water guns and gasoline. Fighting someone in a school mascot turkey costume in Dead Rising 4 is not only expected, it's just another day in the life of a zombie outbreak survivor. You know me, I'm Slappy. Everyone knows Slappy! That's you told. Yeah, well, I feel like once you get into Dead Rising bosses, it's like yeah. they're all so weird. That's that the it's like, stick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's like which one do you want to pick? And I feel like we've talked about Slappy before in a different video. Okay. We also talked about the clown with yeah. the chainsaw yeah. juggling. Yeah. And uh, there's like, there's so many weird bosses in, in Dead Rising. You but can feel like the entire list. I tell you what I enjoy about the Dead Rising bosses is the implication that the way in which they've gone so utterly off the rails mm. and 
and, um, and aggressive and bad following the zombie apocalypse. It relates to their life prior to the apocalypse, right? right. Yeah, they sort of, like their whole life, they were wait, just waiting for society yeah. to break down so yeah, they could so it's like, start flame throwing people. Andy, what, what kind of Dead Rising boss would you become after everything goes to zombies? Oh, that's a good question. Like, exactly, right? I guess I would probably... What, which of your various gimmicks would Ooh. be transmuted into a boss form? I bet what it is, is I would like fully become my D&D character, think I was a pirate and attack you with a sword. Oh, it's like in his former life, Andy was yeah. a D&D enthusiast who played a pirate and now he thinks he is That's such a, a Dead Rising pirate. boss, that is such exactly what would All happen. Right. And it... like, Chuck or Frank would be like, hey buddy, you know it's not real, and I'd be yeah. like, Ha-ha. get off my ship, you scurvy dog, yeah. and all this. So okay. yeah, how about you? Uh, I would be some kind of monstrous YouTuber, uh, yeah. and I would be filming everything I... No, I would act as if everything I was doing was being filmed for YouTube, yeah. even though the internet has long burned to ashes. Yeah. And um, maybe I'd carry around like a YouTube frame and then like hit, hit <laughs> you with it. It's got razor sharp edges. Yeah, Something that'd be like good. That, maybe. Yeah. You have like razor sharp um, like thumbs up that you've thrown at people. Like, yeah, yeah, and, and I'd be like, like and subscribe, kill, kill, kill. <laughs> like yeah. ninja stars, just fa, 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 Like and subscribe and die yeah. would be my catchphrase. Let us know in the comments what yeah. kind of horrible thing you would do. <laughs> yeah, what element of your real life would become your gimmick as a Dead Rising boss? Let us know. Yeah, cool. I'll never get a date now! All right, well, thank you very much to everyone who sent in comments this week. We love reading yeah. everything you send in. Uh, but I've got to go back and catch up with Mike because he's got some bad ideas about Yakuza. What? Set him right. What about I Rage 2? Oh, yeah, uh, sorry, I meant Rage, Rage 2. That's what we're talking about. That's it for Show of the Week. Thanks for watching. But before you go, did you know that one press of the like button equals one calorie, which is equivalent to this entire bag of candy corn? Uh, I'm pretty sure there are more calories than that in there. Well, then I'll have to go back through the archive and click like on a few more videos. Look, I'm going to eat this entire bag of candy corn, all right? Okay, fine. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. All right, don't hog it. Honestly, I don't know why you're so into Yakuza. I mean, this arcade is stupid and... Hang on a second, is that... Is that Outrun? Yeah, it has a working Outrun. Shut up, give me that. Can...